guys and welcome back to my nail table today i'm going to be showing you how i created these dragon nails now some of them are textured as you can see and then some of them have this really cool 3d effect over here that i used with a stamping plate so if you're interested in seeing how you can create some fun dragon nails just keep watching Okay, so we're going to start off by using Madame Glam's Foggy Night. And I will be doing one generous coat of this color on each nail. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Emerald Shimmer from Light Elegance as well as this really beautiful um, green to pink um, Chameleon Flake from Born Party Store. And I'm going to be applying that all over the nail. So I'm going to start off with my flakes. And this just is right into the tacky layer of the nail from pulling it out of the lamp. I don't top coat or anything like that or base coat, just straight out of the lamp. Since it already has a tacky layer, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my chameleon flakes down. Okay, so I've got my chameleon flakes going on here. And again, just with my tacky layer, I didn't add anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this shimmer from light elegance to kind of fill in all of those spaces okay and when you're happy with that i'm gonna go ahead and pop that into my lamp for 30 seconds Okay, so we are just going to kind of dust off anything that didn't want to stick in with Lime Fizz from Madame Glam, and it is just going to really lime it up and make it real bright. So I'm going to go in with that. You can already see how bright it makes the nail. It really just makes all of those colors really pop. I will pop these into my lamp for 30 seconds. And we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so on one of these nails, I will be doing a stamping image. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat that with a no wipe top coat. I will pop that into my lamp for 30 seconds to cure. All right, I zoomed you guys out so you can see. The next step, I just took a cup of water with a, just a little small splash of dish soap. And then I'm going to go back in um, with my no wipe top coat and apply this down onto this nail. And I'm not going to cure this just yet i'm gonna take this give it a good stir so we can get some bubbles going on okay and then i'm gonna pick up some of these bubbles because they are going to be my dragon scales i'm gonna apply that down to the nail this is super, super easy to do. Okay, so I've got the nail covered. Hopefully I was in frame for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that into my lamp for 30 seconds and let those bubbles cure down onto the nail because that's what's going to give us that really fun texture. Okay, guys, so I think that I totally did not just record that part. So <laughs> let me tell you what I did on the nail that we did not do the 3d effect on 
what I did is went in with this stamping plate right here, which is the Pro Collection XL04 from MoU London. And we use this image. I don't know if that's actually alligator or not, but that is what I used. And then I went in with Bundle Monster Lily Pad. I'm unsure if you can find this particular color anymore because I believe this company changed its name to Maniology. So if you have a dark green of any sort, that should work. I went ahead and stamped the image down on my stamper here. And what I was trying to explain to you guys is the image is actually much smaller than my nail so when i do go to apply this down onto the nail what i do to stretch my image is as i start at the top of the nail and as i'm pushing i don't know if you can see what my stamper is doing but i am pulling my image as well so i can stretch it and it will actually cover the entire nail so i went ahead and top coated that with a no white top coat and there we have are two nails and these are how we create dragon nails super simple very easy two different ways that you could do it you could have a really nice 3d effect or just something simple like this so uh, that is how we do it really easy if you recreate these definitely tag me over on instagram i'd love to see what you come up with use different colors and um as for this black one you just do the exact same thing all i did was use a black gel polish um cured that into my lamp for 30 seconds actually i think i did 60 just because it's so pigmented and then i use a no wipe top coat on top of here and before i cure it i go in with that bubble mixture stick it down onto the nail cure that and then i drew the little eyeball in so there you have it super easy hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did give me a thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one